All right, what's going on everybody and welcome to another episode and in today's video i'm going to be checking out the low pro gear up creator box large to mirrorless and dslr camera case now that is quite a bit of a name so throughout the video we're just going to say the low pro camera case pretty much we just have the outside wrapping and low pro branding around it so let's go ahead and unwrap it here we have the actual case right here. Now we're gonna start from the outside of it and then we're gonna work our way around. In the front here, we just have a tag that says new, nothing major right there. And on the side, we have low pro tag, gear up, camera box, L2, and some pictures throughout. It's pretty nice. Let's start from the front and then we'll work our way around towards the back. Um, so we get a quick door latch right here, just a little belt. So around here, we have the zipper to get inside the bag going all the way around on both sides. So moving towards this zipper pocket here, zipper attachment, branding with the low pro. And on the inside of that, you get a picture for this particular case, which is pretty nice. You know, gives you an idea of how you can set this up okay towards the bottom you just have low pro branding right here on the side we have a carrying handle so pretty much you'll be able to carry the case by hand like this using this handle of course towards the top you have another handle that you can carry it by hand and then we have a little loop right here for using a carabiner or another type of clip that you can attach your item to the carrying case itself. So that's pretty much it. These straps that are going on the side here are just the stitching of the quick door buckle here. So they really don't serve any other purpose here. Okay, so towards the back here, you get the zippers for accessing your camera gear from the top and you get these little orange strings and this little uh, attachment that's branded with low pro pretty nice i like it when it comes to these little attachments here and the strings to allow for you to get the zipper grab it and slide it open with ease i always can appreciate that because if you had just a black zipper piece right here that would be quite difficult as it is very small. So underneath the zippers, we have Gear Up Camera Box L2. And again, that is this particular version of this camera case. Stitching along the back is pretty nice. And you also have this back part right here as a pocket. So it's kind of operating like a hidden pocket. So I mean, you can slide other things in here that you can't fit on the inside of the camera case you can fit it in the back. So going back to the front of the camera case here, we have this little extra pocket towards the front where you can slide more items here. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have on the inside. So here is the inside of the camera case. Of course, you get your minerals, kind of like your silica gel. I'm gonna talk about uh, what you can carry in this part of the camera case before we discuss how you can arrange your camera gear set up on this side. So right here we have a pocket. We're definitely gonna test this out and see what all we can carry in this camera case. Right here you have another pocket, very small. Probably won't be able to slide too much in there, but we'll definitely see. Towards the top here, you have this little flap cover to put another set of items. So maybe you could put your SD cards here instead of in the front. All the stitching here looks pretty good. Okay, so before I move any further, this color, this bright orange, I like it a lot. Um, it really gives the camera case a sense of style, in my opinion. And then it just it just looks pretty cool, you know, it's not all over a gray or um, black on the inside, which is boring to me. I like a little bit of flavor for my accessories and what I carry. Um, so yeah, I pretty much like the color of choice. Now this is pretty much Low Pro's branding and kind of their style. They tend to go with this gray and black 
and then this bright orange look. Um, it's not a neon orange. It's kind of like a true orange. I know the camera and the lighting is giving off like a yellowish orange, but I assure you it's a real true orange. Okay, so right here we have some padding towards the bottom of the case. It's not very thick. It's definitely gonna provide some protection in case you drop this cape. In case you drop the camera case, you need to make sure that your gear is protected. I can barely feel my desk, which is pretty cool. So for the dividers here, you have uh, Velcros at the end. So of course you can remove them, move them around and such. So you can rearrange these dividers according to your gear and your style and what works for you. I do like how there's some different colors with the divider so you can see what you're doing and what you're rearranging. You have this long divider which provides uh, kind of like pretty much where your camera is going to go between here. Again, that is removable and you can rearrange that one as well as it has Velcro on the ends and at the bottom. But we're probably going to put two lenses right here and some items right here and then we can see what we have from there. All right, you guys, so I am gonna go ahead and put some gear in here and see how this looks. And then there was natural light. All right, so here I have the camera case filled up with as much stuff as I would carry. I will say off the bat, carrying this around is not heavy at all for the gear that I will use. So pretty much I feel like it's comfortable. The handle right here provides really good padding and comfort so you can carry this around and you won't feel like the handle will eventually dig into your skin. So pretty much again, the buckle here is going to provide security for your front pocket items along with your zippers on the side to access your gear on the inside of the camera case. So that way you can feel pretty comfortable in carrying this around and nothing flies open. So starting with the front pocket, so I have my SD card case here. So pretty much this is just a 36 slot SD card case. So this is just a case that you can carry your micro and SD cards in. It fits pretty well in the front. So I switched this one out with another item that I'm gonna show you what I have inside. But this worked fine, slide it in. It's a little tight. However, I still was able to get it out with no issues. Okay, so I'm laying the camera case out this way so you can see everything fairly well. I'm gonna start um, towards the inside of the top of the camera case and then we're gonna work our way down towards the gear. So in this little flap here, I have my SD card case that I like to use for demonstration. For the most part, maybe one or two can fit in this area right here. Next, I have two pins for this little slot area right here. Um, I couldn't fit anything much other than some pins. In the next pocket, I have a filter. So this one is 55 millimeters and pretty much this um, is gonna be for my 18 to 135 millimeter lens. So if you carry filters, it was no problems with sliding this in to the back of the other items I have in this pocket. Now I will say you may not carry it in this packaging that it comes in because I haven't unboxed it yet and I'm saving this for another video so stay tuned for that. You can carry it in a pouch, um, maybe a small pouch because it's only so big but again I had no problem sliding this in. So next I'm just carrying an SD card. Now I haven't used this one yet which is why it's still in the packaging here but um, I just wanted to see if I can fit another item in this pocket. And last but not least I have my camera rain cover so I keep this on me because it rains a lot where I live and I want to have my gear protected very well a huge 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 essential for carrying my camera okay so in that pocket alone I was able to carry these three items which is pretty good all right so on to the gear for the gear that I carry starting off with the lens I have the Viltros 85 millimeter. Now I do plan to do a video on this very soon. I just wanna make sure that the video for this 
and the information that I provide is accurate and very informative. Stay tuned for that as well. With this lens being right here, I was able to fit it in. And one thing I did notice, it was quite tight. It's pretty thick and has a little girth to it, but it fits, it works. But I will say you may have to make a slight adjustment like I did because this divider, the long piece right here, it spans so far. So I kind of had to stretch out the Velcro right here, but as you can see, it's slightly detached from the inside of the case because of this lens. Next, I have the 18 to 135 millimeter lens. This is the kit lens that came with my Sony a6400. So I keep this with me because I don't have a variety of lenses. This is a decent lens and I do like it. So I do wanna have some versatility with me whenever I'm going to take pictures. So here's a charger for my NPFW50 batteries. Now I would carry this because if all my batteries die or two of them or one of them die, I have the charger with me. So nine times out of 10, I may be somewhere where I can just plug them in and charge them. Even if I carry a power bank with me, this charger will be handy for me to do that. So here I have a compact LED light. So pretty much I plan to keep a compact small source of light with me simply because you just never know when you may need so so better to have it and need it than to need it and not have it so this is the ulanzi fl 49 2000 milliamp hour led light and i will do a video on this one i did feature this accessory in my budget camera setup video i will have that link down in the description for you to check that out but stay tuned for this video i promise it's coming soon so underneath that, I have the MPFW50 batteries. So on the average, I carry two. They fit very nice right underneath the LED light that I would carry, which is the Ulanzi one, as I showed you. And last, but certainly not least, I have my Sony a6400 here, and I have the Sigma 35 millimeter F1.4 lens mounted on my camera. So this is a pretty large lens. Um, it's pretty long, but the reason why I kept this mounted on my camera, because it actually fits pretty well right here. Now it is a snug fit, I will say that, but I don't feel like my camera would fall out. And I think this lens actually shows you and gives you some dimensions as to what lens you can keep mounted on your camera and just have it ready for taking pictures. So that's why I decided to keep this one on. And of course, this is the third lens that I have. So this is pretty cool to know that I can carry this lens on my camera. In any given situation, I shouldn't have no problems popping out my camera, getting the shots that I need. So it adds some weight overall to the carrying setup. So I will mention that. So if you have a lighter lens and all your other lenses are a little bit lighter, then you can take that weight into account. I will say, if you do decide to put something in this pocket, you may want to consider what you have inside. So it's gonna be something that needs to be flat. For example, like a wallet. That's just something for you to consider when you deciding to slide something back here. Otherwise, if it's not flat, it may not work. That could be a con for this particular camera case. So that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for the inside of what I would carry in this low pro camera case. For the price of this camera case, you're looking at spending $40. It depends on which site that you go on, but I purchased this through Amazon and it actually was sold by Adorama. However, I will say this, it is a little bit on the expensive side in my opinion, but again, this is one of the situations where I would consider quality over quantity. So you wanna make sure your expensive gear is well protected, which I do think this camera case could do. That's pretty much it as far as the pricing and the quality of it. So I do plan on actually using this camera case inside a different carrying bag. I plan on doing a video for that pretty soon. So stay tuned for that as well. Overall, I really feel like this is a great pickup. Now, camera bags and camera cases are not the prettiest to look at, in my opinion. So I think this one looks pretty cool. It kind of gives a tactical look to me, and I kind of like that. Some of you, you may not like that. Now, as far as the branding here, 
um there is minimal branding hopefully that doesn't draw attention but again it depends on the environment you're in all right you guys so that's gonna wrap it up for this video Thank you so much for watching and you guys already know the drill if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button it definitely helps out my channel to grow and currently um, i'm close to reaching 200 subscribers so that's pretty cool to me if you haven't go ahead hit that thumbs up if it was helpful to you and also if you know someone that's looking for a you know small camera case then definitely share the video with them Hopefully this video helps them as well. If you have any low pro accessories, definitely leave a comment down in that section. Let me know your experience overall. If you have this camera case in particular, let me know what you think about it. And if you're interested in picking it up, what are some things that you like about that will fit your style of the gear you carry? So I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.